leave you a few words this yes. morning Amen. about the resurrection of Jesus. There's a verse that's found in John chapter 20. Maybe you haven't looked at this verse previously. Maybe you have. Uh, it's verse John chapter 20, verse 7. It's about the napkin that was about his head, not lying with the linen clothes, but wrapped together in a place by itself. That's what it says in John 20, verse 7. And the Bible takes an entire verse and tells us that in that tomb, where he no longer resided, that the napkin was neatly folded and was placed at the head of the stony coffin. Early Sunday morning, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and found that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance. She ran and found Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved. And she said, They have taken the Lord's body out of the tomb, and I don't know where they've put it. Peter and the other disciple ran to the tomb to see. The other disciple outran Peter and got there first. He stooped and looked in and saw the linen cloth lying there, but he didn't go in. Then Simon Peter arrived and went inside, and he also noticed the linen wrappings lying there, while the cloth that covered Jesus' head was folded up and lying by the side. Is that important? Yes, it is. Everything we read in the Bible is important, has special meaning. There are no words in there that do not have very significant meaning. The folded napkin, you have to understand a little bit about the Hebrew tradition of the day. Perhaps not in the United States, but in other countries. I've traveled to a number of countries now, probably 15 to 20, and the folded napkin after a meal meant that that meal wasn't completed. But when somebody likes the meal, they wrinkle up their napkin and leave it on the table. The table in Hebrew customs was furnished perfectly. Then the servant would wait just out of sight until the master had finished eating, and the servant would not dare touch that table until the master was finished. Now if the master was done eating, he would rise from the table, wipe his fingers, his mouth, clean his beard, and would wad up the napkin and toss it onto the table. The servant would then know it's time to clear the table. In those days, the wadded napkin meant, I'm done. But if the master got up from the table and folded his napkin and laid it beside his plate, the servant would not touch the table because the folded napkin meant, I'm coming back. Hallelujah. And he's coming again. <laughs> yes, hallelujah. He is coming back. Many people don't believe that. But the Bible says, I will come again. And he's coming back for his children. It may not be very far off that we'll be meeting him in the air. I'm expecting to be around when he comes. Yes. Praise the Lord. He is coming for his bride, his church, to take his children home, to be with them forever. Praise the Lord. He is coming. That napkin truly does have great significance. And we look forward to 
company with the Lord as he comes to take his people home. God bless you.